deer. And so let me show you something. I've got a cross section of a deer. Do you see these little ports here? They weren't by an accident. This isn't a flaw. The skin slides up and down the nose and it opens and closes chambers here, okay? Here's his nasal passage. And when the buck's walking through the woods, the doe, she will pee on the inside of her knees and she'll put lots of urine there. So that's what we want to emulate. And, and she drags on the grass and a buck can walk around and find her. She's leaving a scent trail. So hunters will drag a rag or put it on their boots and emulate what the doe is doing. Well, the buck's walking around and this is his nasal passage right here. This is all millions of scent receptors. You can see it's kind of rolled up like a fruit roll up in there. He inhales and what does he smell? He'll smell your shampoo, your dog, your gun oil, your boot oil and doe urine. He smells it all right in here, but look at it, it goes in right here and then it comes out right about here and it goes through this passage right here down into his lungs, oxygenates his body. In, smell it, comes back out and it comes down. Oxygenate, he's smelling long range right here. So if you've seen a buck and you all have and you've seen a buck running, grunt, 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 chasing a doe, she'll stop, she'll squat, she'll pee and he'll stop chasing her. As soon as she's gonna pee, he stops and just looks at her. Then all of a sudden she stands up, runs off 30 yards. He'll run to where she peed, put his nose down in her scent, on her urine, inhale deeply, and he can smell through here when he was chasing her. And when he was grunting, he was saying, stop and pee, give me a sample of your heat cycle timing so I can figure it out. He puts his nose in her puddle, he inhales, deeply, but then you'd see him do something. He does what's called a flame and curl. Then the flame and curl will pull the skin up on the face here and it open and closes ports here. And if you look here, there's actually a hole there. So he's diverting urine scent from here up into all these fingers. Do you see all these fingers here? Every one of these are picking up on pheromones that are alive. Every one of them are attached to where? The brain cavity. Look in there. It's a living process. So what's going to happen is he's grunt, grunt, grunt. I can smell the dough. He only knows when she's in heat when he does a flaming curl. It's the only time he can find out. He has to curl his lip, pulls the skin up, changes these openings, and ricochets the scent. But at this time, he's looking for living pheromones. He wants them to hit here. And then it gives a response to his brain to tell him she's at the right heat cycle.